Today I took some old windows out and I replaced them with new windows. I'm going to show you how I did it. Today's job is we have these old windows in here. We're going to take these windows out first. That's going to be the first thing. And then we're going to plaster this whole thing up right here. That's another window. And we got to block that one up. We got the dryer vent coming over. And we're going to fix this whole wall. But the first thing we're going to do is take the old windows out and put new ones in. Before we go ripping these windows out, we've got to make sure that this window is going to fit. Unhook it like that. Take a look at it. No problem. Gonna fit in there. Maybe you have to do a little cutting. We don't know yet. So we're gonna get open the window up right here. That's the top. Gotta get the window out first. Gotta figure out how to do that. Okay, we gotta get the screen out. Kind of pull down on these things. Sometimes you gotta give it a little help. And then it should pop right out like that. There you go. We got the screen out. Made them awful tight. There, see they got little little uh, things you push down on. I gotta get the window out. And you just go, and then the clip come off. Okay. Pops out like that. So now we got the window out. This is the window frame. So now we're gonna get these things off. You break them off because we're not gonna use them that get this one off see that you come right off but like that up clean it up so we know we're looking at this window see those holes right there they're weep holes for when the water comes down they go all through those holes now we got that got that part done so now we get this window out it looks like it's pretty good to us need just a little time there this is why I don't like using wooden windows. See all the bug marks and everything? So we want to get that out. We you know we got that out. I'm going to get inside and rip this through. That worked out pretty good. Wood is all rotted. This. Like that. Okay. You can get this out of here. That's that one. Very good. Well, I knocked it out of there. I'm leaving this piece up here because it's the plate to the Hey, I don't want to check anything, but we're lucky. Look at that. It goes right in there. So we go in. I want to keep it away from the weather. So the farther I keep it in, by not being ridiculous, the better off I'm going to be. So this is uh, the outside of the window where the weep holes are. We better be careful because what we want to do is we want to drill in here these little. That's going to hold that window in. And I don't think we need too many with this window because it's so short. I'm just going to put two in. One there 
and one here. That's it. That's it. I got my roller. And I went in here three inches on this side and made a mark. Three inches on the other side. I know that this is level. Pretty close. Depending on what level you got. So now we are going to put it in. First we gotta find the top of the window is here. So we're gonna draw, draw, drill two holes. That's one. That's two. That's gonna be our gonna go inside. Then we are going to get our cocking gun like that. Break the seal like that. Put this in here like that. And we'll put our cocking on. And cock this up here. Pretty good. Like that. We don't want no critters getting in there. Right. We have a guest here. He stopped by to see me. He used to be a, a boxing star in our area. What was the name you went by? Mike Canvasback. Mike Canvasback McCarthy. Uh, how many wins did you have, Mike? None. <laughs> How'd you get the name Canvasback? I was always my back was always to the canvas. Okay. <laughs> we have some. <laughs> But you got famous though, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. I quit okay. boxing and I come to watch you. Yep, now he's a watcher. <laughs> so now we're going to... Yeah, yep. So now we're going to get up there to our marks. Like that. So I got to get on the inside here. says good that says good gotta come in a little bit this way which is good right there and right there so the windows all basically set so I got the window in I got a couple of these blocks I'm gonna go in like this and then this one, I gotta put a piece in here. Cut that. Like that, and that's gonna go in there. So now I'm gonna mix my cement and put it in. I'm using rapid set order mix. I was gonna use the other stuff, but I went down and checked it, it was all hard. And, and because this dries so fast, don't tell anybody, but I've added a couple of trough full of sand to it. Because that kind of slows it down. I think it's a little too strong the other way. And then, use our sponge to keep adding the water. Keep mixing it up. Just like that. We all got it mixed up. Now we're going to take it over to the window. We're going to get these out of the way first. I'm going to wash this down. I always told you, you got to clean it and wet it first. Or, 
not going to stick. It's an old foundation. When I get to it, I'll explain it to you a little better. That's what we got to do first. Is wet this off first. Clean that off. We got it over to the window. Yeah, it's wet in there, so that's good. We're gonna get our block work in like that. Just like that, no big deal. Like I always say, no big deal. Use your hands, you don't have time for a trowel all the time. I'm gonna put this one in. And I'm gonna put this one in. Just like that. There we go. No big deal. Let me just get the level on that a little bit. I don't want to go too far off. Just gotta go down a little bit. Just gotta come up a little bit. You gotta use shims, use shims. And we're gonna plaster, so we gotta be a little bit where we gotta be. Okay, very good. Now, the cement all dries pretty fast. We gotta make sure gotta be where we gotta be. Sometimes you gotta put a little shim in there to hold it. Like that. In a little bit. Right there. Right there. Now we're gonna pack this. Just like that. I'm gonna pack it. No big deal, right, Canvas back? That's exactly right, Mr. Mr. Haddock. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> gotta work fast with this stuff. So that hardens very quickly? This hardens very quickly. Okay. It's a little messy. That's why he took the screen out and everything. But right now, the only thing I really want to do is just get it in and then get the window back in and make sure everything lines up before it dries too much. That's all we're doing. Got to get the cement all in there. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, this is a window. Pack it underneath like this. It's just a common denominator. Yep. Already, we're doing good here. This looks a little funny. We packed that in there pretty good. Well, we're on the inside. Just 
straighten it out a little bit here before it gets too hard see that same thing be shoving it in with your shove it in with your hands as long as it's good you're good before it dries you got to get the window back in that's the plan so now we got to get these pins back in on the side. I don't know if you can see them. And then we just clip them back in. And we close the window and we give it a good check to make sure everything is square and it, it seals right. Then we'll wait a while and we'll clean it up. So we got the window in just like a dentist. We're going over this whole thing here. If anything is loose, we're getting it off. If it ain't loose, that's good. we're gonna leave it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a first cloud on, so I have to build this out naturally. Then when I come to put my second coat on, it's gonna be all dry. So I paint it with the Portland, like that. I know it's gonna stick. So I paint it with the Portland. I know it's gonna stick. And then I got my cement. That's pretty hard. See that? It's gonna stay in there. I got some fibers in it. That's what I want. I wanna get the base coat on this so when I do my final stucco, it's all ready to go in. Now if it was any softer than that, it'll be falling down. I don't want that. Building it out. That's my plan. Build it out. And the same thing here. So if I wanted to do this all in one day, maybe. But uh, I'd have to use cement doll for the whole thing. I don't want to do that. And use this. Uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, regular cement painting it with Portland that's the old school bonding agent never had a problem see that that's all I'm ready to put my hard cement right in there see that and it sticks same thing here. Get it in there first. Just build it out. Well, that's all built out. And then when I come put my final coat on, I'm not messing with it that much. You see? So that's it. Got my first coat on. Scratched it with the broom. Gonna let that set for a while, a few days at least. Come back and plaster right over it. Well, let's look what's going on. It's about three days later. The windows are in all the way down so now I'm gonna put a coat of plaster on here. Now this is wet. I'm gonna start plastering. Like that. <laughs> 